Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 71st episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. And to start off, I just wanted to talk about the biggest thing that has happened today, and that is the release of Absinthe. And for those of you that don't know, Absinthe is a new utility from the Chronic Dev team that allows for an iPhone 4S and iPad 2 untethered jailbreak. So it works for the two A5 based devices on iOS 5.0.1. It's extremely easy to use and I did do a tutorial on it and I'll have a link to that tutorial down below in the more info. And I was actually planning on talking about all of the updates on the status of the iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. But since it was released today, I'm actually just basically going to skip those. However, I'll still give you guys links to those articles down below in the more info if you want to check them out. But as for Absinthe, again, it is a new utility that was released. Right now, they only released a Mac version and they're working on getting a Windows version up soon. And I will have an annotation in this video once the Windows version is up. I know right now they're trying to smooth out some things with their server and they're trying to actually handle the high volume of traffic so once they get that all worked out then they can actually focus on releasing a Windows version of Absinthe and also I'll post a bulletin update on YouTube and I'll also update you guys on all of my social profiles so Google Plus Facebook and Twitter once the Windows version is out, you guys will be the first to know if you're following me. All right, moving on. According to Bloomberg, the next generation iPad 3 will have a high resolution retina display, a quad core processor, and 4G LTE capabilities. And the report also claims that Apple is gearing up for a March next generation iPad 3 release. Also, if you count tablets as personal computers, Apple is actually the top PC manufacturer in the world. And during this holiday quarter, it's estimated that Apple sold over 20 million personal computers, and obviously that does include their iPad tablet, while HP has sold 14.7 million personal computers this holiday quarter. So it's definitely a huge leap from HP to Apple. And if things continue to go the way they're going now, Apple will no doubt keep their title as the world's largest PC manufacturer. Also, Nissan is actually working on a new iPhone 4, an iPhone 4S case that's made out of a non-traditional ABS plastic. And basically that allows for a more durable and rugged case while still allowing it to fit tighter than almost any other case available on the market. And it uses Nissan's special scratch shield paint technology to actually heal scratches on the case itself. So let's say you have your iPhone in the case and you drop it on the ground and it gets kind of scuffed up and the scratches on the paint itself will actually heal. And again, that is because of the new technology and it said that small scratches may take an hour or less to heal while larger scratches can take up to a week to completely vanish. So this is really awesome and this technology has never really been used before in a case. It's only really been used on some of Nissan's higher up cars and their line of Infinity cars and it definitely has a lot of potential for the future. Also a video of AT&T data throttling was put together and they compared a regular iPhone with an iPhone that was data throttled and they even took the SIM card out and swapped them between the two different iPhones and the results were still the same with the SIM card itself. So the result doesn't depend on the phone. Obviously, it depends on the phone number that uses that amount of data because if you're within the top 5% of data users on AT&T, they will limit your data. So you guys should definitely check that out and read that article if you're at all concerned about data throttling. And for those of you that are unaware of the Stop Online Piracy Act and the Protect IP Act, you guys should definitely check out the post that I have on my website. It has a video highlighting what these two acts are and if you guys go to americancensorship.org, you can see what you can do to prevent these acts from passing. Essentially, it's basically like the government censoring the internet. And again, like I said, if you guys want more information on it, check out the video that's on the post I have down below in the more info. Just the other day, AT&T announced new smartphone and tablet data plans. So basically, they'll offer a 300 megabyte data plan for $20 a month. They'll offer a three gigabyte plan for $30 a month. And they'll offer a five gigabyte with tethering plan for $50 a month. And for tablets, the data plans are basically the same as the top tier smartphone plans. So $30 for three gigabytes and $50 for five gigabytes a month. While it's not a whole lot better than what they had before, they're definitely starting to take a step in the right direction. So with any luck, we could see these unlimited data plans return in the future. However, that might be a ways off. Moving on, Apple did release iBooks 2 with the addition of virtual textbooks. So they're definitely trying to revolutionize the textbook industry with the new version of iBooks because you can hold multiple textbooks on an iPad now 
thanks to this latest version of iBooks. And it's absolutely amazing because you can interact with these textbooks. You can do things that you could never do before. You can actually highlight different parts of the text, create notes right in the textbook itself. And it's absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend checking out the posts that I have on it. I did go into depth in the article and I also made a quick video going over the different features of the latest version of iBooks. And finally, inside some of the iTunes U iBooks 2 files, they actually found references to an iPad with twice the resolution of the current iPad. And they actually found HD high resolution iBooks images for the iPad. Now we know this because of the title of the images themselves. They were referred to as iPad at two times files. So basically the resolution on these images are twice that of what the current iPad 2 uses. So hopefully we will see a Retina iPad and if Bloomberg's report is anything to go by, we will see that somewhere around March of this year. Now that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And remember that you can gain additional entries to the giveaway I'm doing in collaboration with Friday Night Cranks in this video. All you have to do is rate it up, favorite it, and leave a comment down below in the comment section with a special phrase. And that phrase is on fncicu.com. So you can go to that website and you can get the phrase and you can leave it down below in the comment section and you will be entered to win a brand new iPhone 4S. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. And if you guys want to be updated more often, then just be sure to add me to one of your circles in Google Plus, like my Facebook fan page, and follow my Twitter accounts. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.